Who is Anatole Rogers? I know that this question was voiced by many in our COV community as they read the flyer advertising tonight's lecture. Sadly, this question was asked because, as a society, we have not done a good job of telling our story. The story of our 21st century Bahamas must include the stories of persons like Mrs. Anatole Rogers, who helped to build our nation. Tonight, it is my privilege and pleasure to share with you a little of the story of Anatole Rogers, one of our virtually unsung nation builders. Anatole Rogers was born Anatole Reeves. She was the daughter of C.H. Reeves. The name C.H. Reeves is well known to young Bahamians because the C.H. Reeves Junior High School here in New Providence is named in his honor. But in my humble opinion, his greatest impact in our current society is the result of his, the distinguished service of his daughter. As a teacher, and then as principal of the Government High School, Mrs. Rogers mentored the architects of our nation and many of our current leaders. I was a member of the last English class she taught before she became the first Bahamian and female principal of the Government High School. We were her little darlings long before a former minister of youth coined that name for the young Bahamians. Today, my classmates and I are endeavoring to continue her tradition of excellence as we serve our country. As I walked in tonight, I realized that I could not be selfish in singling out the members of that last class that she taught at the Government High School. What I'd like to do tonight is to let the young Bahamians in the room see how many lives she has impacted in here tonight. So I'd like to invite those of you who were either taught by her, who taught with her, or went to school with her to stand at this time. Before you, you see directors of education, you see professors at the College of the Bahamas, I know um, persons who are not standing because they have not made it as yet are actually <laughs> direct the current um, Director General of Tourism. We have lawyers, our chief cardiologists in the Bahamas, and lots of others who are now serving can say that Mrs. Rogers is the one who has helped them to get where they are today. Recently, I saw a quote in time in the Nassau Guardian that made me think about Mrs. Rogers. The quote lamented that tragically, in the last century, we went from being able to teach Latin in high school to having to teach remedial English in college. I know that Mrs. Rogers would have shared the sentiments of the author of this quote because in addition to teaching English language and literature, she taught Latin in high school. By the time I started high school, Latin was no longer a compulsory subject, so I never had the pleasure of experiencing her lessons in Latin. However, I am sure that I would have been a better Latin student than her former classmate, the late Dr. Cleveland Aeneas. During a general assembly, Dr. Aeneas told us about his struggle to learn Latin and his good fortune to have Anatole Reeves as a friend. After getting her help to complete a homework assignment, he could not answer his question during an oral quiz on the same material. As he stammered and armed and awed in response to the question, the teacher bellowed, Aeneas, you silly, get out of my class. Suffice it to say that Dr. Aeneas did utter the word that I left unspoken, which rhymed with the first and the last words, by the way. Needless to say that Mrs. Rogers was noticeably embarrassed. My guess is that she was as embarrassed as much by the fact that he dared to repeat the word in her general assembly as by the fact that she had failed to improve his Latin <laughs> because her mo mottos were scholarship, excellence, and service. If you don't believe me, listen to her own words. On the eve of independence, 